Let me ask a couple of, of, of uh, uh, sort of uh, narrow, narrower questions. One of the most promising technologies uh, for the future of uh, a carbon-free world is nuclear fusion. Uh, Dr. Brinkley, where are we on fusion, and does fusion entail the same waste disposal problem that fission entails? Uh, thank you very much, uh, um, Senator King, and and we and and we certainly uh, appreciate your visit uh, to to Oak Ridge National Laboratory. I just um, fusion offers tremendous opportunity of uh, clean, renewable uh, uh, energy for the future. Uh, that said, there is a tremendous amount of work that needs to be done. Uh, and and uh, the fact that the U.S. is is part of the international leader project, that, are, that is a first demonstration of nuclear fusion capability. But we are also uh, leading the domestic activities in the materials plasma exposure experiment, which is important because taking part out of the fusion plasma and delivering on the grid as a, as a technology that needs to be demonstrated. And of course, it also needs to, we, we have to, lots of work to be done and there's tremendous interest in the private sector in working with the national labs and in this and uh, academia to well, advance me, some of these issues and challenges. Let me, uh, let me press you. Uh, you said opportunity, you said in the future, are we talking Two years, five years, ten years, twenty years. Uh, be be more specific. How close are we? Well, I think uh, um, for commercial uh, in, applications. So uh, certainly, there are. We are working with industry partners who believe that uh, they can demonstrate fusion power in the next five to ten years, which is which is in the event horizon that we need to be paying close attention to. But it's also important to recognize there are lots of challenges that goes along with that as well.